So talk to me about the conditioned mind. What is it? There's this I. People call it the ego, but I call it simply I because the ego can have a lot of different interpretations, but I is I. And as you form this I and, and attach to it, you develop a, a delusional existence, really, because it always has to have attachment. There's a, And it's never the attachment to the thing, it's always the attachment to I. The more ingrained this I attachment gets, the, the less you're truly living life. Do you connect conditioning to beliefs? Yes, it's a direct result. A belief is a direct result of the conditioning because it's a story. The less stories that you make up in your head, the more of a connection you'll have with life. A belief is a story. There's no nothing factual. I always say, stick with the facts. See, I'm a very, very practical individual, and I need that. When I went through my stuff, I used to depend on this God. But if you're going to depend on this thing out there, you're probably never going to get it. Because to me, the facts is the only place of existence is the present. It's never anybody's fault that this happens, that happens. I don't think there's a, something up there that says you do this, you do that, this happens to him, he wins the lottery. It's just what, whatever, whatever it is. The more that you can be with what is, the less of a belief you need, the less stories you have to make up, the more you're, you're just present for life. Wow. And the more that I'm present, the more beneficial I am to humanity. The less self-centered I am, the less I spent 49 years with the me, me, me mind, and not too many people benefited from it except myself. And when when I, I had my shift, that's basically what I saw was I was so engulfed in my own self that there was no way that I would ever be free until I learned how to be present. And that's where love arises, natural, you know, to me anyway, you know, it's, you can put a lot of different words attached to it. You can put kindness, be kind, compassionate, but that stuff to me arose naturally once my mind started settling. See, to me, the mind is the essence of love. It's energy and its essence is love, but not the mind made story of love the love that you find in stillness the love that the intuitiveness that's love when when you know exactly what's right you don't have to make up a story about it you just do what's naturally there the mind is not what we think the mind is underneath all that it's the space it's the universe 